few days ago, I installed the Nebula Pad Smart Kit on my Indotree Vitro SE. It was working fine, but suddenly I started getting this error message, key 2111, and now an exception. Fortunately, I have solved this issue, and in this video, I will show you what were the main cause and how I fixed it. At the beginning, I did not have any idea of what the causes were. I even thought that it was a problem of compatibility of the Nebula Pad with the printer. I kept on searching the internet until I came across a post saying that a possible cause could be the use of a third-party slicer. Then I decided to test the different slicers, including particularly Creality Print Slicer and Cura. I realized that as long as I was using the Creality Print Slicer, everything worked fine. But when I used Cura, I got again the message. I checked the settings and profiles in both slicers, but found no issues. Finally, I decided to look at the stat G chords in both slicers. Then I decided to copy the stat G chords and I put them in a sheet in Excel. For that, I open an Excel file, I go to Kira, I click on the printer tabs here, I click on Manage Printers, I click on my printer, that is under 3 c I click on Machine Settings, I click in the Study Code window, I select All with Ctrl A, I copy with Ctrl C, now I go to Excel and I paste it. Now I open Creality Print. I click on the icon here, then Tools and Manage Printers. I click on the G code tab here. I click in the Start G code window. I select all. I copy. I go back to Excel and I paste here. Here I have the start G code for Cura, and on the right here, I have the start G code for Creality Print. Now these lines in green are similar in both uh, start G codes. These lines in red are different; they appear in one slicer and do not appear in the second. The, and these four lines are those that handle the temperature for the bed and for the nozzle. These two lines in brown, they exist in the Cura slicer start G code, but do not exist in the Creality Print start G code. And I've decided to remove them. That's why I mentioned removed here. Now what I did, I combined both G codes and decided to remove some elements I don't need. And this is what I have here in this column. Now this is the start G code that is adapted from a com that is adapted from Creative Print and Cura. This is a combination of Creative Print and Cura. All these lines that are in the Creative Print start G code, but not in Cura, I decided to keep them. That's what I have here. I also kept the green lines, that is the lines they have in common, exactly the same. And all these lines they have in common, I decided to keep them. Now for these lines concerning the bed temperature and the nozzle temperature, at the beginning I kept those that I found in the Creative Print uh, Start G code. After I copied this adapted Start G code in Cura Slicer, I slice a test file and I launch the print, but I noticed that I still had the error message. 
then I decided to change these lines for the temperature of the nozzle end of the bed. I removed those that came from Creality Print and I copied those I found in Cura Slicer. Okay, I replaced by those I found in the Cura Slicer. I slice again a test file and when I launched the copy, I noted that it was working. Now the conclusion I came to whether the problem was caused by this line of course that handled the temperature of the bed and of the nozzle. The way it is written in the Creative Print Start G code is different from the way it is written in the Cura Start G code. And the Creative Print Start G code doesn't work whereas the one in the Cura Slicer works fine. So I just copied these four lines from the Cura Slicer and put them in the adapted uh, start G code and it works fine. Thank you very much for watching. So do not hesitate to like and share the video and also subscribe to my channel.